Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys episode number one of this Trailing to Dortmund series. Now, you guys will see up on screen in just a second the results from the Trailing to a Team series, which I asked you guys about which team should I trade to next, and you guys pretty much went with Dortmund. So, that's the team we're going to trade to, and as soon as we're done with them, I'll ask you guys again, like I did with Juventus, and I think it was Arsenal after that. So, here's the tick list up on screen. Main expensive players are Marco Royce, uh, Robert Lewandowski, and I think Gundogan. So, as soon as we've got those, then uh, we'll have it done. But, as many of you guys know, this is the start of this training to a team. I think it's Season 3 or Team 3. Don't know which one to go with. But, nonetheless, guys, I'm going to do my uh, out-of-position method. Try to make as many coins as possible. And from there, we will see how it goes. So, we're starting the series with 10,000 coins. If you guys are new here... Feel free to subscribe and uh, check out all my other trading content. You guys will see I traded to the full Arsenal team within, I think, four episodes and the Juventus team in six episodes. So I'll be showing you guys tips and also ways in which you guys can trade and sort of revive the game back because I know recently it's become very, very frustrating considering there's so many coin sponsors out there that sort of damage the market by influencing people to buy coins instead of trading. But that's another subject, guys, so... We'll leave that till later, but up on screen here, you guys can see here, I am going and checking the market for players that are out of position and also have a few chemistry styles. Now, the reason I'm looking for chemistry styles is you can look for them with that basic, but with a chemistry style, they seem to sell a lot more quicker, and it's all about speed in this one because I'm pretty much trying to show you guys players that you can trade, make some coins off, and also have uh, a little bit of coins remaining to go and trade some other players. So... My target for this episode, guys, I think is 30,000 coins, which would be tripling our current coin amount, and that would be quite awesome. Pick up Ronaldinho, sent to mid for 2,700 coins with a catalyst, and I'll show you guys the cheapest one in the market. I think it was 4,500, which was having a dead eye, but with a catalyst, I think it's over here, 5,200, someone really undercutting the market, which I really no idea why people do that. We'll look to make 2,000 coins on that. And then we picked up a Basufa with a Deadeye. And uh, picked up for 750 on an open bid. Literally, you guys can find everything on open bid. So, uh, I'll, I'll answer a couple questions which you guys have asked me uh, over the last episode, I think, of the Arsenal series. And one of those was, uh, do I pick up all my stuff on open bids or buy now? That was actually one of the questions which I remember quite vividly. So... I do look for all my stuff on open bids, never really buy nows. If I see a buy now, I'll take it, snap it quickly, and then I'll show you guys in the video that I picked this player up on a buy now. But I more or less resort to open bids because you can find a lot of stuff listed for 150. So that's a recommendation, guys. Always look for open bids. They're the best things to look for. Another question was why don't I trade on the console? So <laughs> this is actually a really interesting one. Whilst I show you guys some trading in the background. So I normally don't trade on the console. In last year's uh, game, when I started playing and trading on the console, I really didn't like it. And it's much slower for me to trade on a console than it is for me to trade on the web app. I can literally search 10 players in the space of time. It takes me to search maybe four or five on the Xbox. So that's why, guys, I don't trade on console. If you'd like to see possibly trading on console, I don't mind. But it's going to be smaller videos, probably five-minute videos, because they do take forever in a year for me to uh, put together on the web app it's much faster so up on screen here I went and picked up loads of different players I went and picked up Fur, uh, I think it's Nathan Dyer, uh, Marquisio, I think it's Pablo Hernandez, Schneider, Kadira, uh, Jean Moutinho, Narsing and Nine Golan so I went and picked up lots of different players as many of you guys know I do recommend when you're looking for players look for a select few and always do a short list of 10 players, leave it on a piece of paper next to you or in a word file or a notepad and then go back and keep searching the market. So I keep changing it up between different players and I will do that throughout the whole series and as soon as I make 50,000 coins plus I'll start trying to trade in form cards as they give me a much bigger return, especially in profit margin. So I think we have one inform deal towards the end of this video so that'll be quite an interesting buy. I think it spent, we had to spend most of our coins on that one deal. So here's a Jao Matinho. He's default centre mid. Uh, you can pick him up in a centre defence mid or a central attacker mid. And uh, we're just to list up all the cards here. Schneider for centre mid, 900 coins, open bid. And I think he goes around 3,000 coins. So yeah, 3,300, cheapest on the market. 
and uh, we'll see if we can make possibly 2,000 coins off that one deal in itself, which shouldn't be too shabby. So we're going to move along, guys. I'll just keep going through all the players, and eventually we got Pablo Hernandez. This guy, I used to trade him a lot, make almost two, 3,000 coins off him, and his market price has dropped. So if you guys do trade Pablo Hernandez, try keeping his value between three and 4,000 coins. You'll notice if you keep players' prices higher in the market, you'll notice that you can actually make so many more coins and also people will start listing those players for that same price. So it gives you a much bigger profit margin at the end of the day. So here Marquisio going to list him for around a thousand coins profit and I think we've got <laughs> we still got four more players to sell. So quite a few players guys to uh, relist up and then we'll go and pick up our informed deal. So uh Delaufu over there going for around about a thousand coins more. Owen's got an engine which is a very good chemistry style. I'm thinking about doing a video on the chemistry styles for certain positions. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, just put yes if you're interested in seeing one. If not, then don't worry. Uh, you guys can always let me know about something else. But as soon as we finish trading to Dortmund, I will go and let you guys choose the next team. And then we'll start trading to another team. We'll see how it goes till I get completely... Uh, completely I think it's around about a million coins so about 10 teams then I'll eventually finish up with this trading to a team series so nine Nainggolan going around about 1,400 coins on the market already sold on two players Pablo Hernandez very quick and recommend to all of you guys who are new to trading trade British Premier League players they sell rather instantly so over here we do return back around 33,000 coins this is insane because I didn't expect to go above uh, three times the profit in one episode I think this is the most we've made till today and uh, still running the method as strong as we can. So we sold on all the players. This was from around a day and a half ago, I think, maybe two days ago, uh, because I needed to start the series. And then I went and picked up two Schneiders. One is a normal one for 1,000 coins. Sent to mid. Cheapest on the market, I think, is 3,000. No, 2,900 coins. And uh, we're going to list ours up for around about 1,800 coins profit. And list them up for six hours. And the other one is Inform Schneider. Sent a mid for 17,250 coins. And the cheapest one in this market, I think, was around about 29,000, 28,000. It's around about there. Yep, 28,000 coins. So I decided let me list mine a little bit cheaper than that and see if we can make around 10,000 coins, maybe 8,000 coins after tax. Because you've got to take in tax when you do trade informed cards. There is such a big difference. And always check in the market to make sure uh, mine will be the cheaper. So. I think we listed up over there. I was thinking 25, and I said, no, we'll go for a little bit more. And uh, that'll be around about 8,500 coins profit. Pre-tax, after tax, I have no idea. <laughs> and then I'll work that out later on. I think it's 8,200 after tax. And you guys can see there, Schneider sold on. And uh, we are pretty much going to wrap up the episode, I think, in another set of trading. We've got another lot of players, which I'll need to pick up. Got a Lennon over there, however, for 2,000. We're going to see how much he goes for 2,400. I think 2,300. He took around 8 hours to sell, guys. So... Some players do take a much longer, however, they do give you a good profit margin at the end of the day. So, do try trading. I know some deals take forever to year to sell, but loads of open bids for me to try and win. And we'll see that my daily gift, you can see this pretty much from two days ago. And uh, we had picked up two players. One is a Lars Bender. Yeah, Lars Bender, 750 coins. Looking for him in the market, and I think the cheapest was 2,800 uh, 2,900. So yeah, he was still quite expensive, making around about 2,000 coins if we can sneak that amount of profit off him, and uh, that'll be quite good stuff, and that should help us out as well as well. So and then we got Schneider for 900 coins. I was literally finding him so easily. Now we're at 40,000 coins. You can see that we multiplied our coins by four to, in this first episode. So insane stuff. Another thing, if you guys are new here, you'll notice uh, if you check my other ones. I never do signings on the first episode. I like to go and buy my players probably the second or third episode when I have around about fifty to 60,000 coins. So uh, we will do that for the next episode. But here we're going to list up Schneider and we'll sell him possibly on for the next episode or this one. I do know we've got a couple other players which I'm keeping an eye on. And we'll see if we can sell those as well. But uh, going through the players over here, Schneider, Bender and... Uh, Roberto over there selling on and a healing card from our daily gift and we'll remove that I think we're gonna end the episode out of that so we'll jump over to the tick list guys hopefully you have enjoyed this episode by all means please do drop in a like if you have enjoyed and subscribe here for more daily FIFA 14 content some squad builders and check out my other series guys you'll like it it's very good fun stuff so this is the team so far we're gonna try getting signings in the next episode this has been AVJV Gaming 
and I'll catch you guys for the next episode.